Hey, Jara. What? Emotional damage is my favorite phrase of the year. Welcome, welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achara. Emotional damage, Kirk. Always dealing it. So we're looking at When Asian is a Difficulty Mode by Stephen He. Thank you, Stephen He, for allowing this reaction to exist. Y'all hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up so that YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. If you haven't subscribed to Stephen He, make sure you do that. There's a link in the description below for the video that we're about to watch. If you want to click on that, give the original an upvote, and subscribe to him from there. Okie dokie, here we go. <laughs> Why is it taking so long to oh, pan over? Oh, this is definitely an earlier video. What the hell? Step on. French. Oh, that's the new level. They just released it. So many people in Asia complained it was too easy. So they uh, they they made this. <laughs> Are Asians better at video games? Is that the thing? Yes, South Korean players in StarCraft and games of the sort are insane. Like, don't even try is the <laughs> motto. You know, like you cannot beat them. StarCraft is a sport in South Korea. Like, I, I it's their national that. sport. Does that translate to growing up? All Asians. I don't know about China. China's a little bit different. Like what's allowed over there is different. Yeah, they're, but they're, they're making you not I, play as many games now. I know that Japan has like these extreme difficulty modes that you can access. They didn't call it Asian. Like I remember Metal Gear Solid had a mode that was called European hard or something like that, <laughs> which was like some extreme level. I'm like, why would you even, is that even fun? But <laughs> let's just go with it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> by <Hit my> leap. <laughs> A leaf. Was it poisonous? Uh, I think you press <laughs> L2. Nice block. Oh no! Tense. Tense too hard! <laughs> I have to block the sun. <laughs> oh oh no! Steven, when you get so fat. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional damage! Yes. Was it you probably could just hold down the block button. When you get so fat, you still trying to be an actor. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! Too real! Too real! No! Wow! Oh no! Those Asian aunties, man. No, they're next level. <laughs> I stopped showing my short films to my Asian family because of stuff like that. Because I was just like, I remember trying to show them like something I had crafted for like a year, yeah. a year of my life. And they just could not stop talking through the whole thing and making jokes. And I'm like, yeah, this is not happening anymore. Yeah. I'm like, I'm done with you guys. <laughs> the emotional damage is too much. I'm not doing that to yeah, myself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why is he wearing a... Hey. <laughs> Social anxiety. <laughs> the social anxiety is my favorite. <laughs> See, too soft. The cat. What? What? I'm down, Steven. Get the cheat codes. What? What? You don't want to beat it properly? I will send you to Jesus. <laughs> wow, okay, one, great uh, shoot. L two circle circle triangle. Okay, L triangle square square circle. Whoa, whoa! Is that a cheat code? Looks like you, my friend, are on the wrong difficulty level. See, we made this game mode for the five-year-olds in Asia who kept beating our f***ing game in five minutes. How are they so good? We kept raising the difficulty, but it's just not enough for that. I can't even play that well and I made the f***ing game. <laughs> so let's take you back to where you should be. Okay, so fun fact, Shigeru Miyamoto is terrible at Mario, and he made Mario. Oh, really? Yeah, like, he's outright said, like, I'm not good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be to make a good game. I mean, that happens a lot. Like, the people who design roller coasters don't often ride them. What does that say about roller coasters, right? <laughs> yeah. Easy mode. Well, that was a nice cut. Yeah, that was a nice cut. What now? You gonna play it for him? (laughs) 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 
his physicality is so good. You know, like obviously the, the, the accent he does is remarkably iconic, but just the way he is able to move his body is so incredible. I think I saw something in one of his videos where he actually does martial arts. Oh, really? Yeah, no, he is a martial artist or he has trained in martial arts. And so I think that's why, like, like even his block and stuff, I'm like, that looks legit to me. I, I don't do martial arts, but that's not just like, oh, this is a block. He's like, no, he literally blocked it properly. That looks like it may have come from a Chinese art. Like, yeah, his physicality is so good when he does the ragdoll. The thing where the game literally called him out, you know, while the voice was obviously exaggerated, and because no game would ever do that unless it was made by the Wachowskis, that's a Matrix reference because they totally did something like that. There is this thing that happens in certain games where it literally says, oh, you, you suck at this. So here's the easy way to, like in Metal Gear Solid 5, you, Hideo Kojima literally offers you a chicken head which makes the game way easier for you. I think that's Metal Gear Solid Five, where like you won't die or something like that. Oh, okay. It'll like make the game a coast for you basically. Stop insulting me. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of feel like that, but I don't care because I really legitimately suck. I do look up the cheat codes and or like how to clear a level. It's literally because... built into the game now though. Like I think it's in Spider-Man, it's definitely in Watch Dogs or something, Grand Theft Auto, where it literally gives you the option to skip the level. Wow. I'm like, no, don't do that to me, yeah. you bastard. You're making me feel shitty failure <laughs> i have an <laughs> ego please stop yeah. the auntie boss level is so true like the asian auntie is just next level sometimes i mean the social anxiety would come from going to events yeah. where i knew that aunties would be at because you know all, all those questions all of us like oh so uh what are you doing right now i'm just auditioning oh really oh my my daughter she only like 16 she got a publishing deal i'm like well shit. your 16 year old daughter is now a published author well well, I feel like shit. I can only recall like one vivid instance where my mom did that, where I was, I think I was about to turn 12 and she goes, look at this article. And it was this 12 year old kid who already graduated college. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? I don't know how to do that. How he jumped the levels. Like, I don't know what he did. Yeah, I think from for me, I peaked too early. I think I was that like kid that my mom was super proud of. And then I hit 17 and could no longer live live up to those high levels I achieved as a young teenager and, and now I'm just like she kept encouraging me in that direction though like in high school she's like you need to get into the highly gifted magnet program I'm like that's not me mom what do I do to become highly gifted magnet like <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't even know the first step that shit is insulting like that shouldn't be the name of that program in high school because it makes everyone else makes feel everyone stupid. else feel bad yeah. well, then what should it be called advanced Hot, like, I don't know. I don't know. Just not that. It's something else. <laughs> you normies suck. Super difficult level. That's what yeah. they should call it. So that's like, well, I don't want that. Asian mode. How many Asian Asians mode. were in the highly gifted magnet? All of them were Asian. <laughs> Maybe a few a handful of white people. There you mostly go. Asian. Yeah. I think what you were saying about the Asian auntie, though, was legit. Like, like, sometimes I would just outright avoid them or just try and come up with answers that are just generic or just say, yeah, I'm I'm doing great. Excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom or something. Just like leave, bye. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon, all notifications and vote this up, please. I am Jabby Kuei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.